Hello folks and welcome to the fifth information session about cash management. In this information session we'll talk about current assets. So we'll start with the definition of current assets. Current assets are cash or any rights or uh, goods or services that the company owns which can be turned into the ca into cash in the near future. And uh, we'll start with the first item uh, in current assets and is usually listed the first thing and which is uh, cash and cash is king as we all know. So it's cash and cash equivalents. So cash in different currencies, uh, cash equivalents like uh, treasury bills, commercial paper, and money market funds. Uh, the second uh, item in uh, current assets is uh, short-term investments and short-term investments can be divided into two categories. We have debt investments like bonds, uh, guaranteed in investment certificates that are, that are called GICs here in Canada, um, or redeemable preferred shares. Uh, the second category of uh, short-term investments are equity securities like common shares, preferred shares, or call and put options. And um, if the management intent is to hold these securities for, for the short term, they can be classified as current. Otherwise, they can be classified as long-term investments. The third item in current assets is net accounts receivables. And the net accounts receivables is the account receivables themselves minus any potential discounts minus the allowance for debt, bad debt. And uh, this is what really matters to the treasurer because he wants to know how much cash is going to come after the receivables are collected. <clears throat> The fourth item is inventory, and uh, also we have different different types of evaluating inventory. What the treasurer is caring about is the market value or the actual value that can be turned into cash in the near future, and uh, which could be sometimes and a lot of times actually different than the accounting approach. So I left you some of uh, some links in the um, uh, video description for you if you think you need to understand more about uh, guaranteed investment certificates and certificate of deposits and time deposits. So you'll find these links there. Uh, thank you very much for following up. In the next video, we'll talk about current liabilities, and we'll try to keep it as simple as possible. And enjoy your day. Take care.